Dr. William Mobley, thank you so much for taking time out of your sure. conference here to speak with us for a few moments. Uh, why don't you just give us an introduction to your work, uh, what your research affiliations are in the United States? Well, I work on Down syndrome and on uh, both the problems that people with Down syndrome have, both as children and as adults. Uh, I started this work a number of years ago, inspired at the time by Charlie Epstein, and continued the work after I left UCSF at Stanford University and now at UCSD where I've been for about a year and a half. Um, the work is done in collaboration with a number of terrific scientists that have worked with me for some time. Uh, the goal is to understand how the brain works, uh, the problems with cognition, and how those could be fixed. So with Down syndrome individuals, we know that the lifespan is increasing constantly, but that uh, the, the research into the disabilities that accumulate as they age is very important to find ways to suppress the development of these Alzheimer's-like systems in Down's patients. Can you talk about that for a few minutes and where yeah. that research stands now? Yeah, well, it's very important research. It, it, it is the case that everyone with Down syndrome at age 35 will have all of the brain changes, all of the neuropathology of Alzheimer's disease. And if they live long enough, and increasingly they are living long enough, they will go on to have the dementia of Alzheimer's disease. So for people with Down syndrome, this is an oncoming epidemic. It's no less than a uh, terrible sentence to dementia when they become older. So the focus now is understanding what are the basic mechanisms and how do they work to cause dementia. And we think we know now that an extra copy of the gene for APP plays a critical role, that the way it plays that role is not so clear, but we think it has a great deal to do with changing uh, synaptic structure and function in people with Down syndrome and, do, and does so in a way that's similar to what probably goes on in typical Alzheimer's disease. So the focus is on understanding how could we change the way that this protein is expressed or uh, it's processed. And our data suggests now that we've made real progress in perhaps actually finding a way not just to treat Alzheimer's disease but to prevent it in people with Down syndrome. Great, and so I'm wondering if the research into these Alzheimer's characteristics in trisomy 21 patients can in some way inform research in Alzheimer's disease for uh, patients who do not carry the genetic disease. We expect it to, because we think they're close enough in mechanism that the one, that one approach that works in people with Down syndrome will also work in people with Alzheimer's disease, and conceivably, there'll be two or three different approaches to treating Alzheimer's disease that'll work in both people with Down syndrome and people with Alzheimer's disease. Incredible. So it seems like this particular area of research is critical at this point in time because, this, as we said, this population is aging. It's very important to find ways now as much as possible. What's needed, do you think, in research? What's needed to go to the next level of research in this area? I think we have to have the kind of investment of resources in talent, uh, in new tools and, 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 and really funding for research that can help us more quickly come to the, I, to the idea that yes, this is a drug target, yes, it can be explored, and really to bring in industry to help us develop those best ideas into drugs. It's really turning great ideas into great medicine. Now's the time to do it. Yeah. Ideally, we would have a drug that you would take if you were, let's say, 25 and older if you had Down syndrome we'd anticipate and therefore really prevent Alzheimer's disease. And some day we could come to families with people with Down syndrome and say to them, guess what? Uh, research has progressed. Uh, you don't have to worry anymore. Your child will not, get will not get Alzheimer's disease. There's lots of work to do yet, but I think that's a realistic hope for the future. How far into the future? Do you have any projections? I think we're going to know more in five to ten years. My guess is if we're very successful and we get the right sort of funding and the right sort of uh, group of scientists and industry partners together, that in ten years we'll have a drug that will be able to be tried clinically and that might show efficacy.